everybody, welcome to Brick Vault, my name is Mike and today we have another collection video for you that is Nia from Ninja Go and we have every Nia minifigure ever made. As of now, Nia, the Water Ninja, has 16 versions in LEGO form, some of them being very similar to each other, like similar faces, similar torso prints or similar accessories that go with her body. I will be going through this collection chronologically, so you will see each set that Nia came in and also you will see how much she is worth. So let's start off in 2011, that is the very first Nia minifig. I actually do like her and she came in three sets, that is the Fire Temple, Garmadon's Dark Forces and also a pack of Nia with her trading cards. This version of her came with a number of weapons. Weapons, the most common being the silver Nick Daggers and the upper version being golden Nick Daggers. Being the first version of the Nia minifig, he is actually pretty good, the print for the torso is excellent and also her face is quite unique, she comes with two expressions, one of them being a covered one. I believe she is quite a sought after minifig and right now in the US she is standing for about $9. That is the first and only minifig of Nia released in 2011 and 2012 brought us the Samurai X Nia, that is a mysterious samurai character in an alter ego of Nia as somewhat of a hidden form that was helping Ninja Go ninjas along the way. I would say there is also a highly unique minifig, quite a favorite of mine if I may say. She came in two sets, that is the Samurai Mech and her very own Samurai X pack with trading cards as well. This pack with her came with her Spear of Fire weapon and also this massive black scimitar that she's wielding right now. And what I like about this minifig also is not only her excellent print for the torso but the armor she comes with in this pearl dark grey color. That is quite an uncommon piece and also her helmet comes in the very same color with a shiny finish. Her head comes with two face expressions, there is this confused one and this really angry one that I really like. Right now in the US you can get her for around $6 in new condition. After the Samurai X version we had no new minifig for over a year and 2014 brought the Samurai Nia. She appeared in only one big set that is the Battle for Ninja Go City and this version of her comes with a very exclusive torso print. I especially like this chainmail detailing underneath some pieces of armor and the very nice use of reflective gold paint. She comes with a set of armor shoulder pads with scabbard for two katanas in the back. Her helmet in this version is slightly modified, comes in black color and has a snap connector for her horns which are just a gold golden bucket handle. Another very likable minifig and she is not very expensive comes for around 3 pd Next year of 2015 brought us three versions of Nia, two of them being very similar to each other. And speaking of those first, we have Nia in her samurai outfit. She also gets a samurai head mask print for the first time. Along with the other expression, she comes with a pearl dark grey armor piece with a scabbard to hold her black katana. She appeared in two sets, the first one being the fun pack, Ninja Go Nia and Samurai Mag, and the second one being Ninja DBX. There is the first time we see this character with a black katana included, and this version of her is very cheap you can get her for around $2. The next one is almost entirely the same minifig, the only difference being that the armor comes in black. The print for the torso is exactly the same, that is a very good print by the way, I love those details in green. She comes with the very same type of face expressions with this printed mask and appeared in two sets as well, the City of Sticks and the Titan Mech Battle. She is a marginally more expensive version of the first one, coming in at $3 right now on Bricklink. The last minifig that we have seen in 2015 is this version of Nia, that is uh, Nia with golden armor. And this is the first time we see her with blue detailing on both her mask and her torso. That is due to the fact that she is uh, slowly becoming the water ninja that we know her as. I really like the detailing on her torso, especially the use of golden paint again and this uh, water emblem on her back. The golden armor has a scabbard that can hold two golden katanas with her. Despite the fact that she comes in two quite big sets, she is fairly cheap to get, you can get her for around $3 in the US. 2016 was a really good year for Ninja Go and we had 7 versions of Nia in this year. This first one here is called the Skybound Nia and she comes with an entirely new print for the torso and the good thing to say about her is that the print for the torso is not only new but also really good as we have this uh, Skybound emblem on both front and back that contrasts with the rest of the print and also matches nicely with this golden armor shoulder pad that is a single pad with scabbard for two katanas. That is the only time we get her in the Ninja Go mask with uh, black and red finish as most of the other times she comes with red and blue mask. This minifig appeared in two sets, the Lighthouse Siege and the Tiger Widow Island, both of medium size, and thanks to that she is fairly cheap, you can get her for around $2. Next one in 2016 is fairly disappointing, there is the exact same version as the Skymount Nia, and the only difference about her is that she comes with a hairpiece instead of a mask. This version of her came in only one single but fairly good set, the Salvage Mac, and you can get her for around $3. The next minifig is a comeback to the 2015 version for the torso, that is the fairly commonly called Ninja Nia, and she only appeared in a single small set, that is the Ninja Bike Chase. 
There is nothing really special going on with this minifig, she doesn't have any special prints or exclusive ones. The face expression and the prints are exactly the same as we have seen in 2015 form. And the only difference that actually makes up for her ninja name is the fact that she comes with a neck bracket that is holding the ninja Sai weapon. That is the only time we see her with those weapons. This version of her is now worth around $3. The next one in this series is often referred to as the blue arms Nia, and this time around her torso and the legs print is fairly new. Her blue arms go well in contrast with the entire body and the mask, this fact is probably the most favorite for me about her, and this version of her comes with a single shoulder pad scabbard in brown and two silver katanas. The face is again a fairly common one for Nia. she comes in a single big set that is the Samurai X Cave Chaos, probably one of the best sets in the Ninja Go line, and that makes her not so cheap, you can get her for around $5 brand new. The next version of her is a comeback of Samurai X, and also this version of her comes with an exclusive torso, probably one of the nicest ones ones of the Nia minifig and this one is called Samurai X in black outfit. She came in the Skybound battle pack and again we can see the Samurai X weapon of choice that is the Spear of Fire. She is also seen with a golden shuriken. Her head is also unique, she comes with two expressions, one of them being the exclusive mask for Samurai X. All the other parts are fairly common, we get this black shoulder armor with scabbard, black helmet with those <laughs> bucket horns holder and the red chin guard. The weird part about her is however the price, the brickling states her at around $7 in the US, but the battle pack she comes in is still fairly available, you can get it from lego stores or different shops for around $15 for the entire battle pack with 4 minifigs and a bunch of accessories. So if you are getting her I would suggest going this route. The next Nia in 2016 is definitely my favorite one, here we have the Arjitsu Nia, and first off the print for the torso and legs is excellent, the mix of blue paint and the reflective one is very well done, so you can see the energy just pouring through her body, there is also a nice golden emblem on her torso, and a very nice water emblem on the back. This version comes with entirely blue arms, a special blue head with a special print for the Arjitsu form, and a solid red Ninjago mask that is also not very common. Definitely my favorite version of Nia, she appeared in only one set the Air Jitsu Battlegrounds, and right now in the US she stands for around $7. The next and the last Nia that appeared in 2016 is a somewhat disappointing comeback to the 2015 version, as we have the exact same torso print as her samurai forms from 2015, and she appeared in only a single poly bag, that is probably why the print is not exclusive, and that was simply called the Nia foil pack. Her weapons in this poly bag were a silver katana sword, and also a somewhat awkward cutlass, that is most likely a link to the time when ninjas were fighting skybound pirates. Otherwise, the main difference about her is that she comes with an exclusive face expression and the samurai mask. Instead of the samurai helmet, she got a piece of hair, the same one as we got in the first ever Nia. This minifig is somewhat not very common, you can get her in the US for around $6 and not many vendors have her. With this minifig, it's a wrap for 2016 and 2017 has brought three versions of Nia. The first two versions are from the newest Ninja Go season, The Hands of Time, and the first look tells not many differences between those minifigs. This this first one is Nia from Hands of Time with black armor. This is the first time we see the base color of gunmetal as I call it or dark pearl. And this is of course a very high quality print, nice contrast between her blue harness, the metal armor and the golden emblem. Her mask is a combination of this dark pearl and blue, she comes with two silver katanas and a black scabbard with shoulder armor of course. The face expression is only a single one that we have seen a number of times previously. She appears in only one set, that is the Samurai VXL, and her price right now is fairly high that is over eight dollars which is somewhat weird because it's not so expensive set and is still easily available on the shelves. The second version of Hands of Time Nia is this one, and the only difference here is that her head now has two face expressions. The second face expression being somewhat of an angry, hypnotized Nia. Otherwise, everything else is exactly the same as the previous minifig. She appeared in only one single set from the 2017 wave, the Dragon's Forge, and she is actually cheaper than the previous minifig. Her face is better because of the two face expressions, and the set is bigger, but still you can get her for $4. That is a logic I really cannot understand, to be honest. So if you want to get a hands of time version of Nia, get this one, it's cheaper and it's simply better. And the last minifig for this collection that appeared in 2017 is this Nia. She appeared in a single poly bag called the Crew Master's Training Grounds, when she was training with Zane and a funny build for the Master Wu figure. And this version of her has the exact legs and torso as the 2016 version with the blue arms. And also the head has the very common print with the very common hair. So that makes her not very special, I guess the poly bag is more worth it for the Zane minifig. The price for her right now is very cheap, you can get her for $3.
All right, and that is the entire Nia collection. Quite a good one, I have to say. Not the biggest one, but the character is very likable. If there is any version of her that I would love to see in minific form, that would probably be the moment when she unlocks her true potential when fighting the preeminent. That would be sweet to see her in somewhat maybe of a transparent water swirl that she becomes. Maybe similar to the ghost form minifigs that we have seen in Ninja Go and as well as Pirates of the Caribbean. A blue transparent mold of her water form would be great. And of course, guys, if there is any Ninja Go collection that you would like to see in the near future let us know in the comment section below we will try to cope with those requests all right and that is it for this collection review you guys can check out the links below if you want to see other ninja go collections uh, as we have done a number of them already and uh, thank you guys so much for watching leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it uh, my name is mike and i'll see you again on brick vault